Welcome, we meet again. In the daily grind, we often find ourselves consumed by the demands of our work. We clock in, we clock out, and we repeat. But deep down, a quiet voice whispers, it speaks of unfulfilled yearnings and untapped potential. This, my friends, is the call to passion. A call that resonates far beyond the confines of our careers. It's about unearthing the very essence of who we are outside the professional sphere. This is about reclaiming your time, your energy, and your innate human need to create, to explore, to simply bring out the inner child and eventually become the best version of yourself. Beyond the balance sheet, the human need for passion. The modern world often equates success with professional achievement we chase promotions, strive for higher salaries, and measure our worth by the titles on our business cards. But what about the intangible rewards, the ones that fill our souls rather than our bank accounts? This is where passion comes into play. Engaging in activities we love simply for the joy they bring nourishes our spirit. It offers a sense of purpose and accomplishment that transcends the material world. Think of the artist lost in their craft, the musician pouring their heart into a melody, or the athlete pushing their physical limits. These individuals have tapped into a powerful source of energy, their passion. A history of striving. From ancient dreams to modern pastimes, the pursuit of passion is not a modern invention. Throughout history, men and women from all walks of life have found solace, inspiration, and even greatness through their passions. Consider Leonardo da Vinci, the quintessential Renaissance man. While renowned for his artistic masterpieces, he was also a scientist, an inventor, and an engineer. Or take the example of Marie Curie, who dedicated her life to the pursuit of scientific knowledge. These individuals shared a common thread, an unwavering commitment to their passions. Embark on your journey, discover the power within. You too possess this innate capacity for passion. It might be lying dormant, buried beneath layers of responsibility and routine, but it's there, waiting to be unearthed. This journey, like any worthwhile endeavor, requires courage, commitment, and a willingness to look within. It's about rediscovering the activities that brought you joy as a child, exploring new interests, and giving yourself permission to dream again. We'll explore practical strategies for identifying your passions, overcoming the barriers to pursuing them, and ultimately integrating them into your life. It's about making conscious choices that align with your values, your interests, and your true self. Now let's begin. Passion, that elusive fire that burns within, yearning for expression, yet many of us struggle to even identify its embers, let alone fan it into a roaring flame. Fear not, my friends, for the first step on this journey is simply about listening. Yes, listening to the quiet whispers of your soul. Remember those moments when time seems to slip away? When you're so engrossed in an activity that the outside world fades into insignificance? Those, my friends, are the echoes of your passions. To truly hear them, we must cultivate stillness. Think back to your younger self, the one untouched by societal expectations and the pressures of adulting. What brought you joy? What activities sparked your curiosity and made you feel truly alive? Perhaps you were the child lost in a world of their own making, building Lego towers that scraped the ceiling. Or maybe you were the bookworm, devouring tales of adventure and intrigue, your imagination running wild with each turn of the page. These early experiences hold valuable clues to your inherent passions. They reveal the seeds of interest, planted long before the demands of work and responsibility took root. Like young Leonardo, allow yourself to explore without judgment.
Unearthing your passions requires more than simply reminiscing about childhood dreams. It demands a conscious effort to reflect on your current experiences and identify the activities that bring you genuine fulfillment. Start by keeping a journal. Dedicate a few minutes each day to jotting down your thoughts and feelings. What activities energized you? What tasks left you feeling drained or uninspired? Pay attention to the moments when you feel a sense of flow. These are the moments when you're operating in your zone of genius. Beyond the familiar, dabbling in the waters of possibility, now, my friends, we must move beyond the realm of the familiar. Just as a traveler ventures beyond their known borders to discover new cultures and landscapes, so too must we be willing to step outside our comfort zones and explore uncharted territories in the pursuit of passion. Have you always been fascinated by a particular subject but never dared to delve deeper? Now is the time to enroll in that online course, attend a workshop, or simply borrow a stack of books from the library. Remember, dear viewers, Passion is not about perfection, it's about the joy of creation, the thrill of experimentation, the satisfaction of bringing something new into the world. Think of Julia Child, who, at the age of 36, discovered her passion for French cuisine. Seeking the guiding light. Mentors on the path less traveled. Embarking on this journey of self-discovery can feel daunting at times. It's easy to feel lost in a sea of possibilities, unsure of which direction to take. This is where the guidance of a mentor can be invaluable. A mentor is not someone who dictates your path, but rather a trusted advisor who offers support, encouragement and a fresh perspective. They can help you identify your blind spots, navigate challenges and stay motivated on your journey. Seek out individuals who embody the qualities you admire those who have successfully integrated their passions into their lives. Remember, even the greatest artists, inventors and leaders throughout history sought guidance from those who came before them. Time, the sculptor, shaping your passion amidst obligations. Ah, you sigh, the perennial dilemma, time, or rather the lack thereof. Indeed, the demands of modern life with its relentless pace and ever-growing to-do lists can feel like an insurmountable barrier to pursuing our passions. But I say to you, dear viewers, that time is not our enemy, but rather a sculptor, shaping our lives with each passing moment. Just as a sculptor meticulously chips away at a block of stone to reveal the masterpiece within, so too can we shape our days, weeks and years to make space for what truly matters. The key, my friends, lies not in magical solutions or superhuman abilities, but in a shift in perspective. The question is not, do I have enough time, but rather, how will I choose to sculpt the time I have? The illusion of balance, embracing the rhythms of life. Now, you might be tempted to strive for a perfect balance between work, responsibilities and passions. But let me caution you against this elusive pursuit. Life, my friends, is not a static equation to be meticulously balanced, but rather a flowing river ebbing and surging, constantly in motion. There will be seasons in your life when work demands more of your time and energy, leaving less space for your passions. And there will be times when the opposite is true, when the pursuit of your passions takes center stage, fueling and inspiring you in all areas of your life. The key is to embrace these rhythms, to understand that they are a natural part of the human experience. The power of small steps, transforming dreams into daily rituals. But how, you ask, can I possibly find the time and energy to pursue my passions when simply getting through the day feels like a monumental feat? The answer, my friends, lies in the power of small steps. Just as a single seed planted in fertile ground has the potential to grow into a mighty oak, so too can small consistent actions taken over time transform our dreams into tangible realities. Don't underestimate the power of dedicating just 15 minutes each day to your passion. 
Perhaps it's picking up your paintbrush and making a few strokes on a canvas, practicing a musical instrument, writing a page in your novel, or simply reading a chapter of a book that inspires you. These seemingly insignificant actions, repeated day after day, week after week, create a ripple effect, building momentum and carving out a space for your passions to flourish. Start small, stay consistent and trust that with each step you take, you move closer to realising your full potential. The Art of Sacred Boundaries Protecting Your Passion's Flame Now, my dear viewers, let's address the often overlooked art of setting boundaries. In a world that glorifies busyness and celebrates the always-on mentality, it can feel selfish, even indulgent, to carve out time for ourselves, but I assure you, protecting your passion's flame requires establishing and fiercely guarding sacred boundaries. This means learning to say no to commitments that drain your energy and detract from your goals. It means silencing the inner critic that whispers doubts and fuels procrastination. And it means creating a space, both physical and mental, where you can fully immerse yourself in your passions without distractions or interruptions. Setting boundaries is not selfish, it's an act of self-preservation. Weaving the threads, integrating passion into the fabric of life. Now you may be wondering, must I choose between my work and my passions? Not necessarily, my friends. While some individuals find fulfilment in pursuing entirely separate careers and passions, others discover the joy of weaving the threads of their interests into the very fabric of their work lives. This might involve seeking out opportunities for creativity and innovation within your current role, pursuing professional development opportunities that align with your passions, or even launching a side hustle that allows you to explore your interests in a more entrepreneurial capacity. The key, dear viewers, is to approach your work with a spirit of curiosity and a willingness to explore unconventional paths. Don't be afraid to challenge the status quo, to think outside the box, and to seek out opportunities that ignite your passions and allow you to make a meaningful contribution to the world. Just as a skilled weaver artfully combines different threads to create a beautiful and intricate tapestry, so too can we integrate our passions into our work lives, creating a more vibrant, meaningful and ultimately more fulfilling existence. The Ripple Effect how pursuing your passion uplifts all you do. And so, my friends, we come to the heart of the matter. Why is pursuing your passion beyond the demands of work so vital to living a truly fulfilling life? The answer, dear viewers, lies in the ripple effect. When you make time for activities that bring you joy, that ignite your creativity, and that fuel your soul, you tap into a wellspring of energy and inspiration that spills over into all areas of your life. You'll find that you approach your work with renewed enthusiasm and focus, that your relationships deepen and become more meaningful, and that you have more energy and zest for life in general. The pursuit of passion is not a selfish indulgence, but rather an act of self-care that benefits not only ourselves, but also those around us. Remember the words of the poet Rumi who said, let yourself be silently drawn by the strange pull of what you really love. It will not lead you astray. When you prioritize your passions, you unlock a level of joy, creativity and fulfillment that permeates every aspect of your being, creating a ripple effect that touches the lives of all those you encounter. The Unlived Life, a symphony unplayed. And now, my friends, we must confront a sobering truth, the consequences of neglecting our passions, of allowing the demands of work and daily life to extinguish the fire within. Imagine, if you will, a world-renowned orchestra assembled on a grand stage, instruments in hand, poised to perform a symphony of unparalleled beauty. But then, silence. The conductor never arrives. The musicians remain frozen, their potential brilliance locked away, unexpressed, unheard. This, my friends, is the tragedy of an unlived life, a life devoid of the passion that gives it meaning and purpose. 
Each of us possesses within us a unique symphony waiting to be played, a tapestry of talents, interests and aspirations longing to be woven into the fabric of our existence. But if we ignore the call of our passions, if we silence the music within, we condemn ourselves to a life of quiet desperation, a life of what ifs and if onlys. We become like those instruments on the stage, our potential lying dormant, our voices forever muted. The shadow of burnout, when the spark dies. One of the most insidious consequences of neglecting our passions is the looming shadow of burnout. When we pour all our time and energy into our work, when we become consumed by the relentless pursuit of professional achievement, we risk depleting our internal reserves, leaving ourselves vulnerable to exhaustion, cynicism, and a profound sense of disillusionment. Burnout isn't merely a matter of feeling tired, it's a state of emotional, physical and mental depletion that can have far-reaching consequences for our health, our relationships and our overall well-being. A 2018 study published in the Journal of Abnormal Psychology found that burnout is linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, depression and even premature death. Remember, dear viewers, just as a candle cannot burn brightly without sufficient fuel, so too can we not sustain a fulfilling life without nurturing our passions. Those activities that bring us joy, replenish our energy and reignite our inner spark. Neglecting these vital aspects of our being is akin to running on fumes, pushing ourselves to the brink of exhaustion until we're left with nothing but embers of our former selves. The price of neglect. Imagine a vibrant tapestry bursting with color and intricate designs, but as time passes, it's neglected. Its colors fade, threads unravel, beauty diminishes. This is what happens to our creativity when we fail to nurture it. Creativity is a muscle that requires regular exercise. Engage in activities that spark your imagination. Neglect it and your creative spark dims. Remember, creativity is intelligence having fun. Nurture your creativity and enrich your life and others. The unopened doors. Consider a series of doors, each representing a potential opportunity. But you hesitate. Fear and doubt hold you back, and the doors remain closed. We may miss out on chances to connect, discover talents and life-altering experiences. As Robert Frost wrote, two roads diverged in a wood and I took the one less traveled by. Don't let fear prevent you from exploring paths that lead to self-discovery and fulfillment. Echoes of regret, a haunting chorus. Imagine, if you will, a chorus of voices, faint at first but growing steadily louder with each passing year. These are the voices of regret, whispering what ifs and if onlys, reminding you of the passions you ignored, the dreams you left unrealized, the life you postponed in the name of responsibility and routine. Regret is a heavy burden to carry, a constant reminder of paths not taken and opportunities missed. It can chip away at our self-esteem, fuel feelings of dissatisfaction and cast a long shadow over our present and future. A 2011 study published in the journal Emotion found that people who reported having more regrets about things they didn't do than things they did were more likely to experience symptoms of depression and anxiety. Remember, dear viewers, as the writer Bronnie Ware discovered in his work with terminally ill patients, one of the most common regrets people have at the end of their lives is not having the courage to live a life true to themselves a life that honoured their passions and aspirations. Don't wait until it's too late to pursue what sets your soul on fire. Start today and never let the echoes of regret drown out the symphony of your dreams. The illusion of security, a cage of golden bars. Now you might argue, my friends, that prioritising work over passions is simply the responsible, the practical, the choice. After all, a steady job provides financial security, a sense of stability, a clear path to follow. But let me caution you against mistaking comfort for fulfilment. 
security for happiness. The pursuit of passion is not about abandoning responsibility or living a life of reckless abandon. It's about recognizing that true security, true happiness, stems not from external validation or material possessions, but from aligning our lives with our values, our interests, and our authentic selves. Clinging to a job that drains our energy, stifles our creativity, and leaves us feeling unfulfilled, even in the name of security, is akin to living in a gilded cage. Remember, dear viewers, as the entrepreneur and author Seth Godin wisely observed, the problem with the rat race is that even if you win, you're still a rat. Don't let the illusion of security trap you in a life that doesn't light your fire, a life that leaves you yearning for something more. Dare to break free, to pursue your passions, and you'll find that true security, true happiness, lies in living a life true to yourself. Awakening the dormant self, a call to action. And so, my friends, we come to a crossroads. The path of neglecting our passions leads to burnout, to diminished creativity, to missed opportunities, to a life shadowed by regret. But the path of embracing our passions, of nurturing our creative spark, of pursuing our dreams with courage and determination, leads to a life of greater purpose, fulfillment and joy. It's a life where work and play are not mutually exclusive, where creativity flourishes, where opportunities abound and where the echoes of regret are replaced by the triumphant symphony of a life well lived. The choice, dear viewers, is yours. Will you allow your passions to lie dormant, their potential unrealized? Or will you heed the call to awaken your dormant self, to embrace the transformative power of pursuing your passions, and to embark on a journey that will ignite your spirit, enrich your life, and leave an indelible mark on the world? The time to act is now. Don't wait for permission, for the perfect moment, or for someone else to give you permission to live a life that sets your soul on fire. The power to unlock your true potential lies within you. Ah, but let us not dwell on shadows when the world is brimming with inspiring tales of those who dare to embrace their passions. Consider, if you will, the story of a young man named Henry Ford, by day, he toiled away as an engineer, his hands calloused from working with gears and grease. Yet his heart yearned for something more, a vision of a world where the horse and buggy would be replaced by a marvel of modern engineering, the automobile, and transform the world he did. The Model T, a testament to Ford's relentless pursuit of his passion, revolutionized transportation, bringing mobility and freedom to the masses. Now let us journey across time and continents to meet a remarkable woman named Dr. Patch Adams. A physician by profession, Dr. Adams dedicated his life to healing the sick, but his approach transcended the sterile walls of the hospital. He understood that true healing encompassed not just the body, but also the mind and spirit. It was this belief that led him to embrace a rather unconventional form of therapy, laughter. Yes, my friends, laughter. Dr. Adams, a skilled physician, also harbored a deep-seated passion for clowning. He believed in the transformative power of joy, in the ability of laughter to lift spirits, ease suffering, and even promote physical healing. Donning a red nose and oversized shoes, Dr. Adams transformed himself into Patch Adams, the clown doctor, bringing laughter and levity to patients, families, and staff alike. His work challenged the traditional boundaries of medicine, reminding us that even in the face of illness and despair, the human spirit craves joy, connection, and a healthy dose of laughter. Dr. Adams' story is a testament to the power of embracing our passions, however unconventional they may seem, and using them to make a positive impact on the world. Now let us turn our attention to the awe-inspiring tale of a woman named Caroline Herschel. By day, she toiled away as a seamstress, her nimble fingers stitching intricate patterns onto fine fabrics. But her heart yearned for the boundless expanse of the night sky, her mind captivated by the mysteries of the cosmos. Fueled by this passion, 
Caroline spent her evenings alongside her brother William, a renowned astronomer meticulously grinding and polishing telescope lenses. Her hands are skilled in crafting instruments of scientific discovery as they were in needlework. Together they scoured the heavens, making groundbreaking observations and discoveries that expanded humanity's understanding of the universe. Carolyn Herschel wasn't content to merely observe. She yearned to contribute, to leave her own mark on the annals of astronomy. And contribute she did, becoming the first woman to discover a comet, her name forever etched in the celestial tapestry she so admired. Herschel's story reminds us that passion knows no boundaries, that it can bloom even in the humblest of settings, and that it has the power to propel us to extraordinary heights. But the pursuit of passion is not limited to grand stages or scientific breakthroughs. Consider, if you will, the story of a young man named Paul Bocuse, who began his journey in the humble kitchens of rural France. Tasked with the seemingly mundane duty of preparing meals, Bocuse saw an opportunity to elevate the culinary arts, to transform hunger into an exquisite experience for the senses. Driven by an unquenchable passion for flavour, texture and presentation, Bocas experimented tirelessly, pushing the boundaries of traditional French cuisine. He viewed cooking not merely as a means of sustenance, but as an art form, a symphony of taste and aroma, a testament to the transformative power of culinary creativity. His dedication and artistry did not go unnoticed. Bocuse rose to prominence, his restaurant becoming a culinary pilgrimage site, his name synonymous with innovation and excellence in the world of haute cuisine. Bocuse's story reminds us that passion can transform even the most ordinary of tasks into extraordinary pursuits. It's a testament to the power of embracing our craft, of seeking beauty and innovation in every endeavour, and of never underestimating the impact of pursuing our passions with unwavering dedication. From humble beginnings to unforeseen heights, a tapestry of triumph. These stories are but a few threads in a vast and intricate tapestry. From ancient Rome to modern cities, men and women have dared to dream, nurturing their passions and leaving a mark on the world. They show the power of pursuing our passions, embracing what ignites our souls and weaving joy into our lives. The pursuit of passion is a birthright, a wellspring of energy for all. Take that first step towards a life truly savoured. What legacy will you leave behind? The symphony awaits, a call to embrace your passion. And so, my friends, we come to the end of our journey, a journey that has taken us from the depths of historical inspiration to the practical steps of unearthing and nurturing your passions. Remember, the pursuit of passion is not a distraction from a fulfilling life, but the very essence of it. It's about rediscovering those activities that make your heart sing, that awaken your creativity, and that remind you of the vibrant, multifaceted individual you truly are. It's about infusing your days with a sense of purpose and joy that extends far beyond the walls of your workplace. Imagine, if you will, a life where work and passion coexist, where Monday mornings are met with anticipation rather than dread, and where the evenings and weekends are not merely an escape from the daily grind, but an opportunity to explore, to create, to simply feed your inner child. This, my friends, is the transformative power of embracing your passions. It's about living a life that is in alignment with your values, your interests, and your authentic self. It's about stepping into your full potential, not just as a worker, but as a human being. Your journey starts now. A partnership for fulfillment. Remember, dear viewers, you are not alone in this journey. Here at MJoga Coaching and Consulting, we believe that everyone deserves to experience the fulfillment that comes from aligning their career with their passions. We're here to provide you with the guidance, support and tools you need to unlock your true potential and create a career that you love. Whether you're just beginning to explore your passions or you're ready to make a significant career change, 
We're here to help you navigate the path ahead with clarity, confidence, and a renewed sense of purpose. Take that first step towards a more fulfilling future. We invite you to book a complimentary career breakthrough call with Dr. Joga, our experienced coach and consultant today. Together, we'll explore your unique strengths, passions and aspirations and develop a personalised roadmap to help you achieve your career goals. As the great Maya Angelou once said, nothing will work unless you do. So, dear viewers, I leave you with this. Take action, embrace your passions, and let us help you create a career and a life that is truly extraordinary.